This is your explanation for the uh, option two of the independent independent activity choice project, which is your uh, semester two exam grade. So for option two, you would be completing a work or community service project. This is one of the two, one of two options you have for the final exam. So once you pick this project, you will remain with it the entire semester. So please look over the instruction pa instructional pages very closely and read the directions and the drop boxes for specific information about each checkpoint. Now, this is super duper important, and I'm not I am not wavering from this. So this is a requirement, and if you don't have these signatures, I am not accepting your exam. So this project is intended for students who are taking an additional option pathway to graduation. You must have counselor approval and have shown me proof of counselor approval in order to complete this project option. So wherever there's a required signature, on uh, wherever there's a required signature on this project, you have to show uh, show that to me. If you are taking the addition, the traditional pathway towards graduation, but are still interested in this project, you may complete this, but you still will be required to get counselor approval because they will be going through all the steps that um, validate this uh, that validate this project. You will submit um, this uh, this approval by 124. If you do not have council approval, you will not be allowed to complete this project. So as you complete your work for the final exam, you will expect it to have your work saved on, this, on this, this, these documents and work on them as we progress in the semester. So do not submit a different document uh, for each checkpoint. Um, you'll, you'll see what I mean when we go over this real quick. Um, so the goal is so you can see that progression and um, See how you've grown. So there is an explanation page that goes over the specifics of this project that you can refer to. <clears throat> um, you have um, your pre-approval will be due on January 24th. Your second check-in will be on Friday, February 21st. Your third check-in will be on Monday, March 30th, and your final check-in will be on Friday, May 1st. If you have already started this process with your counselor, this will still count. So if you started it back in November, because some of you probably already have, um, that's fine. Just submit the forms you've already completed into the drop boxes, okay? So remember, this work experience project is meant to be a long-term experience. Make sure you plan ahead so you'll be able to get all of your hours completed by the deadline, okay? So for step one, You'll have the work and community experience uh, form that you'll need to fill out, okay? You'll need to make sure you fill all this out and um, you, you get all, all of your signatures that you need to have completed. Um, you'll need to have the documentation of, of hours and log and reflection, and this is the form you'll fill out. So you will need to fill this, this, this direct form out, okay? And then you will have to reflect when you've completed 40 hours of experience, when you've completed 40, the 80 hours of experience. Um, so you'll have to fill out all of this information. So make sure you look at those forms very carefully. And finally, for step three, you'll have the supervisor verification of evaluation and skills. Now, you'll have to sign this. Your school counselor will have to sign this and your supervisor will sign this, okay? Um, and we, we are in contact with the counselors. They know that we're doing this project. So um, make sure that, you, you, um, that you're, you, you are doing everything you need to do and you plan accordingly. Know that this is due on May 1st. So you will need to get this all submitted to your counselor and your supervisor before May 1st so they can sign it and get it back to you and you can get it to submit it to us. Um, as I grade your work for this project, I will be seeing uh, if you have uh, that you elaborate your responses, provide specific details, and use cor correct um, grammatical instru instruction, gra grammatical structure. You will need to provide in-depth responses to earn a high score on this assignment. 
an important note here, I will absolutely not accept these documents until you have the required signatures. So in other words, make sure you have your supervisor's signature and counselor's signature when you're required. And in each um, checkpoint, I have very specific information on what you need to do um, in order to um, successfully complete each checkpoint, okay? So make sure you read those directions carefully. And if you have any questions about this project, let me know, okay? Um, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing your progress.